Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the Docker Swarm and how you can remove a, a worker from, from your Docker Swarm. And uh, you can call it disconnect, you can call it remove, it, you can call it go away, it's the same point. What we want to do in this video is, is how we can remove a single worker from your clustering. If it's going away or if you don't want this machine online anymore because you maybe need a hardware upgrade and something like that. So for this, we need to know which uh, IDs we have on on a clustering. And in my case, I have a manager one, manager two, worker one, two, and three. And let's say we want this one going away. The way you can do this is just to say to so do Docker, and then node and remove, and then type in the ID. Because uh, this uh, worker is still online, you can do this uh, not right away. So if the worker is going down, let's uh, say the worker 2 is uh, going down, we turn it off. And we want now to remove it. It's possible. But before we, need, we check about the worker 2, so let's simulate we want to remove um, the worker number three so node docker node remove and let's say this it should be response the same as it's doing and then you can say the force the forces mean we don't care about it's not offline we just want to remove it from a clustering and now if i say to so do uh, docker node ls you can see we have removed the worker number number three so let's try to remove the worker number two because now our clustering is, is say this uh, worker is, is going down so what to do with it it's not used anymore I will say docker node remove and then just type the ID again and it should be go away now and it's going away and when you have fixed the issues with the servers let's say with the two servers here Let's start up the worker number two. And you want to to rejoin it. Then uh, we can do it this way. Let's uh, say to so do Docker um, swarm join token worker. And here we have the, the worker token. So let's copy this. And let's go in for the worker number two. We are disconnected here and say uh, say this, and it should give an error when we do this. No, not the. Yeah, it's it's all already a part of the swarm. Yes, that's what I expect. It's just taking a little longer time, and I expect it. So we need to to tell this uh, swarm to leave the the swarm. So this uh, node need to know. I don't want to be a part of this swarm anymore. So I need to leave it. And now it's leaving. And now we can rejoin it again. And now it's back online. I'm going to my worker number, my, my worker, sorry, my manager. And I, I list everything out and you can see the worker number two is online. Let's doing the same um, here on worker. Yes, worker three is doesn't down. So if you do the same inside here, it should do the same error and it's doing, so that's perfect. And the, the Docker Swamp should be left. And I would say we don't want the Swamp anymore. And then we rejoin it. And if we're going back again, it should be back online. And that's working. So everything we have done here, it's, it's working perfectly what we expect. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this and getting to understand how you can remove a worker uh, if it's down or if you really want to remove the worker even if the server is online or how you can leave the swamp so it doesn't is a part of the swamp anymore and how you can rejoin the workers when you have fixed the issues on a worker server thank you so much for watching and i hope you really want to to join this channel and subscribe just uh, press the thing in the right corner below i'll be very happy and give it a like, 
then post the comments if you have any questions and of course remember to share this remember to share this and uh, like it and share it and put it to a playlist thank you so much for subscribing and hope to see you next time bye bye